I say all that to say this is one of the toughest times of my life being tested right now and my old ways of doing things are not going to work going forward i used to um work very well under pressure and it's getting to a point where i don't have to be under pressure anymore so i'm being taught to get out of survival learn mode. how to have inner peace learn how to rest you don't have to overwork yourself that's why i said i got this pain in my side because I was trying to work in my bed and the way I was laying slash sitting it was I guess not good for my side I don't know you know how when you sleep wrong because I was overworking you don't have to overwork it's like I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked we didn't told y'all we didn't told you to stop overworking we didn't told you to stop over analyzing stuff we didn't told you to stop feeling like you got to be 20 steps ahead all the time you don't need to know the next step all the time i am being tested my faith is being tested don't ask us my spirit team don't ask us to do something for you and you still over here making plan b's in case we don't come through how are we supposed to feel about that you don't have faith that we're going to come through i'm struggling right now with my logic and my spirituality because i want to be responsible I have a son. I need to be responsible. Y'all talking about have faith in y'all. I need to have a backup plan. So I'm being shaken. <laughs> Everything in my life is being shaken up right now. Like you gonna listen to what we said. You're gonna rest assured. I did a video titled rest assured yesterday. You gonna rest assured that what we said was gonna happen is gonna happen. And we're gonna push you until the very last second and it's going to take a miracle for some things to happen but you need to believe in miracles right now i'm being put in a, in a position where you need to believe in miracles this is a whole new level of manifestation that i'm going I, like i'm about to be a master alchemist something big is about to happen for me i can feel it so it's a weird space to be in when you know something big is about to happen and it's just going to take one interaction with somebody, one person seeing a certain post, um, one person sharing a certain post. It's going to be something that's going to happen overnight for me. Some miraculous thing is about to happen overnight for me, but I am being pushed in ways that I have not been pushed before. Mentally, my mental agility is being tested right now but i'm not going to give up even though i want to so bad sometimes sometimes i'm like what is the point of this game of life it just seems like a game and i'm tired of playing it sometimes i feel that way but i have a son and i would never ever do anything to put him in a bad position and that includes quitting I cannot quit. You cannot quit. I don't care if you have a child or not. You you could be single and don't have a child and no connection to your family. So you may feel like I don't even have people to live for. You have to keep going. You have to keep living, okay? You cannot give up. No matter how bad things may get, you cannot give up. I'm not telling you that it's not okay to feel like it because I don't like it when people tell me don't talk that way. don't you don't talk about how you're upset and you want to give you need to be able to express yourself i'm not telling you not to express yourself what i'm telling you is have a you can have a pity party but don't stay there i always say that go through the emotions you need to go through if you need to because you need to get them out you cannot bottle stuff up you cannot hold stuff in you cannot suppress i always say that if you suppress you can't get it out. It can't, it has to come up. Trying to hold everything in to, to come off positive, that can have an adverse effect. That can have an opposite effect. That can really, really make things a lot worse for you. So I do suggest expressing yourself. I gotta get it out sometimes, okay? I will cry. I will, I will throw a fit. I will go off on my spirit team sometime what y'all got me doing y'all got me out here looking crazy i didn't follow what y'all said do i didn't cut off who y'all said to cut off 
Why y'all got me out here looking crazy? Like I made them on the... I'll, I'll, I'll say all that. And after I throw my little fit... <laughs> it's like I'm a new person again. I pick myself up. I feel better because I feel like my sinuses are better because I've cried and got it all out. And I move on to the next thing. What What is on the schedule today? I need to do some readings. Okay, cool. I didn't cleanse my energy. I got that energy out. So it's not going to affect my readings. Cool. What I need to do, I need to write in my write part of my book today. Okay. I need to relax today. I'm still working on the relax part. Okay. But I'm trying to do little things to help myself get there. I have a switch. I told y'all, like, it's funny because, like I said, I'm a Libra. But because people are like, don't put too much stock into your astrology signs. But my counselor picked up on how I do things in the extreme. And the Libra has a scale, okay? So I'm on one side or the next. So I could literally, like, throw a fit, have a pity party, cry, all that. And then be like, okay, I'm good. What are we about to do next? But like two minutes ago, I felt like I didn't want to be here on this planet no more. And now I'm like, okay, what I got planned for the day. Sometimes the answer is to go ahead and get it out. Because you don't want to hold it in. And if I would have held in my sadness this morning and my frustration, I may have gone throughout the whole day feeling that way. Just go ahead and get it out. But when you get it out, then you have to decide, okay, I'm not about to let that rule my whole day i got it out it's done it's over i'm gonna have a good day for the rest of the day if i start to feel myself feeling sad again i'm gonna write in my manifestation journal i'm gonna write some positive things down i'm gonna write positive i am statements down what can you do to help to bring yourself back to a good space mentally